Uh, hi everyone. In this short video, I will explain you how to start working with the CFC programming language for the uh, PSCs. CFC or the Continuous Function Chart is indeed an extension to the IEC standard, IEC 61131-3 programming languages for the PSCs. It's based on the FPD or Function Block Diagramming Language. However, it has some differences. For example, you have the freedom of moving the, the blocks, the objects within the environment, within the programming environment, without any limitation. You can place them in different locations. Uh, and there are a couple of other uh, elements uh, provided for you within CFC, which are not available with the FPD at the beginning. All right, so to start programming, PSCs in the CFC, uh, with CFC programming language, I will show you the first steps that you need to take. As the first step, you need to create the uh, Calisys project in which we need to set the programming language as the CFC. So I will call the new project CFC first steps. And now I need to determine the programming language for the project, which is, uh, I, I will select the CFC or fun continuous function chart. By clicking on the OK, the project will be opened. And now if I double click on the PSC underline PRG or the main program, you will see the programming environment. Here, similar to the other programming languages, we have the area in which we can declare our variables so it's quite similar to the other ones and here we have the area in which we need to develop the code and on the right side we have the toolbox so in the toolbox we have a couple of elements uh, the pointer control point input output box and so on and so forth i will introduce some of them in this video and the, the others i will keep for the next videos to keep this first lesson quite simple. Uh, so I will go through an example in this video. Uh, indeed, I will try to make a flashing. I will create a Boolean variable for which I want to have the flashing. So to turn it on and off uh, based on some values coming from some other variables. Okay, so indeed I will have a square wave form in which I can control the uh, the duty cycle for how long I uh, it should be true and for how long it should be false and then this will repeat. I can do this with, with the help of uh, start from the scratch. So I, I would need to use two undelay timers this is one way and to insert a uh, a T on function block, I can pick up a box from the toolbox, drag it, and drop it here. Now I need to determine the type of the box, which should be a on delay timer. If I click on this icon here, I will have the input assistant window opened, and here in the function blocks standard timer, I can pick the TR function block. Pressing on enter, I need to determine the name of this uh, function block or the instance of the TR. I keep it as TR under line 0. I need to declare it with the auto declare. So pay attention that here the type is TR. Just press on. Okay. Okay. So this is the first one. I need another one. I just place it here, go through the same procedure, press enter, t on, t on underline one, declare it, and that's all. Now I need to connect the output of the first timer to the input of the second timer. To do that, I just place the mouse here at the output of the timer, click, drag the mouse, come here into the input of the other timer and then release the mouse and in this way I will have the connection and I need to do the same thing for uh, 
to, for connecting the input of the first timer to the output of the second timer. I can do the same thing, clicking on the input of the first timer, dragging and then clicking at the output of the second timer. Okay, so this should yeah, provide us the, the connection. I will talk about how can some connections lie underneath some blocks later. Okay, but for now, we have the connection. And I just need to make the output of the reset second timer negated. So to do that, I just need to right click here and select negate. However, pay attention that when I do it, I have one negation here and I have another negation here which, which will cancel the effect of each other. So I just go back here and then select the negate again. So the, the input is not negated and also the only the output of the second timer is negated. Here we have the timers declared. Now I would like to declare two variables as the preset time values. I will create PT01. The type will be time and the initial value will be one second. And I will declare another variable. It is zero two. So here I need to put the hashtag sign as well. Three. And this is P preset time zero. Now, in order to determine the value for the PT, for the first timer, I just need to use one input element from here. Drag and drop it here. And then select PT01 for that. Place, pressing enter, I will have it here. Then I need to connect the output of this uh, element to the input of the undelay term T on underline 0 PT. So I just do it by selecting the output, dragging and selecting the input of the other block. I need to do the same for the other timer as well. So here the value will be PT02, pressing enter and then connecting these two to each other. Okay, I also would like to introduce a Boolean variable as the pilot lamp for example. and assign the output of the first timer to the variable. So, in order to do that, I need to bring an output element from here, determine the corresponding variable as pilot lamp, the boolean one here, and then connect this element to the output of the first timer, as you can see here. So, that's all for, for this uh, program. I need to set it into the simulation mode and now I can just log in. And run the code. And here you can see that the, the pilot lamp variable, which is the output of the first timer, is turning on and off for one second because we have preset time values equal to one second for both cases. And here uh, in the online mode, you can see that the color of the connections for the Boolean variables will change. If we have false value, we will have black. And if we have true value, we will have uh, blue color. So, and from here we can easily change the value of the preset times to two seconds, for example. and then pressing F7 and Alt F7, you can see the effect maybe. So we will have two seconds of false and then one second of the true value for the output of the first time. Uh, okay, so this is all for this video as the introduction to the CFC programming. In the next videos, I will explain you more about the elements that we have uh, and you will get introduced to CFC properly. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.